I'm waking up to a pair of shoes. Ooh, and some really good draining systems in this town, apparently. Luna wants us to have an amazing time here. Stop bossing us around, Luna. What are these shoes for? Slippers, okay. <laughs> ah, much better. <laughs> oh, these, these, there's some pretty nice uh, pathways here. I'm liking this. Oh, wow, they even made a, a corner part. Attention to detail. Ooh, hey, that looks really nice. I like that. Kind of brings everything together. Does every animal have this around their house? This is taking forever. This is a really fancy bridge. Look at this. <laughs> this is the Tokyo Tower, which is just, I guess, Japan's ripoff of the Eiffel Tower. That is definitely the mayor. Look at him. If he's not the mayor, I don't want to know how fancy the mayor is. He's even got his hair slicked and everything. <laughs> It's a very well-rounded town. A lot, a lot of Japanese players seem to go with the Japanese theme as well, which at first kind of seems strange to me, but then I guess it makes sense. I, I guess it would be kind of like the equivalency of an American player going with like a Western town. So it's maybe not as weird as I initially thought. I just always felt like, wh why would the Japanese player, why wouldn't they want something different? I don't know. I don't know. I'm overthinking it. Ooh, fanciness. <laughs> Should we go in? Where's the mayor? Is this guy the mayor? Where'd he go? Oh, this, you know, he's totally not the mayor. He's like the mayor's idiot brother. He surfs a lot. He's always breaking things. He's embarrassing the mayor at important meetings. Let's see what his house is like. Oh, yeah, of course he's got a bicycle and golf clubs and a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> this is the mayor's dude bro brother. Come on, chill out, man. Bro, stop being so merrily all the time and come get gnarly with me. <laughs> oh, it's the fast food sheep. What's this guy's name? Groucho. There we go. He doesn't look grouchy to me, though. He looks more like agitated. There's a difference between being agitated and being grouchy, and people need to learn it. Ooh, tea. Let's see what's on TV right now. See? Tea. TV. What? Wow, it must be the middle of the night here. Oh my gosh, that is a... That is a Spice Orange GameCube. Holy cow, so it's it was originally pink, and it has a purple GameCube, so you can customize it to have a Spice Orange GameCube? That is so cool. And look, at there's little GameCube games underneath it, and those are the Japanese ones, too. Hmm. Ooh, baseball photo. Oh, look at the little digital camera there. Uh. Oh my goodness. The colors. <laughs> this is a very Easter themed room. Holy cow, you can customize the marshmallow stools to be different colors. Oh, oh I don't want to sit on the yellow one. There's a creepy guy staring at me. I guess I'll sit on the orange one. My butt is sticky. Ah, I like having a sticky butt. Oh my gosh, I just want all colorful marshmallows in one of my rooms. That's going to be a theme. Nothing but colorful marshmallows. Tons of stickiness. Ah, nice room. I like it. I guess actually the highlight of the room is obviously the, the colorful marshmallows. The creepy guy can go, though. Marshmallows aren't supposed to be around creepiness. They're supposed to be around happiness. Ooh. I like the setup. It's like really good contrast. It's got the kitty theme, but then it's also got the darker, like gray, blackish stuff, so it works really well. Wow, has all these guitars. <laughs> Clearly customized to change the color, I would assume. There's a beat-up baseball player. A DJ. A hillbilly. Well, actually, he looks more like a hipster to me. 
pretty cool house, dude. Gonna go skating with him someday. I'm building up a fanfic for this entire town. This thing is fancy, but it's also expensive, and it, it really confuses me. And I guess I really feel uncomfortable with the fact that it's just always spinning. I'm weird. Like, I don't like big objects moving uncontrollably. It's a weird phobia of mine. I'm being serious right now. I'm opening up to you people, and you're just looking at me like I'm strange. So here's the uh, dream address for this town, as always. I like to give it to you guys because I'm sure you would want to visit. Ooh, wow. Fancy. There's a frog in that pond. Should we go in here? This is probably going to be the Japanese-themed home. I want to try to figure out where the mayor lives. Is it... I'm going to assume it's that guy. Let's go over to that house. Yeah, I just get a feeling that this is the mayor's home. Yeah, I mean, this... Oh, I want this! I want the windsock fish flags. This house had to cost a fortune to make. This house is definitely like at least, I would say, two million bells worth of stuff. I'm intimidated. Some more fanciness. I think that, no, this stuff isn't Gracie Grace. You can buy this in the store. What's going on here? Ooh. Come on! Hurry! Hurry up in there, I gotta pee! Come on, I gotta tinkle! Fine, I'm just gonna do it in this guy's slippers. Ooh, very modern. Hey, wow, you can change the mo- Oh, I like that. So this is usually black and white checkered, but you can make it different colors. Hmm, which bed would I go with? I guess I would go with this one. Uh... It's so peaceful down here. I have a feeling that this is the coolest room in the entire house. If this were real life, I would have my pants off and my shirt off by now. Mayor Joshua actually sleeps in, in the nude. Fun fact. All right, well, it's a pretty cool town. It's very, um, very sophisticated. Seems like they definitely know what they're doing here, except for the idiot brother. I think, actually, he's probably like a brother-in-law to the mayor. That's my, my theory. All right, let's wake up, Luna. 